Take a look behind me. That is beautiful Boracay Beach. We are on White Beach here, and the weather is uh, in the upper 80s. It's uh, you know getting to be mid late January, and this is a beautiful place all year round. Uh, we stopped here for a couple days, me and a friend, uh, because uh, we wanted to uh, just explore it and become familiar with it. And next time, you know, we're just getting a feel for it now. But next time, we're going to do all the fun stuff like parasailing and scuba diving and um, and all that all that cool stuff. So I just want to tell you a little bit about um, you know Barakai. Uh, it's about 200 miles south of Manila, so if you go to Manila, it's only about a 50-minute flight to get here. It doesn't take that long at all, and you only fly about, I want to say, 25,000 feet in the air, so you get a good shot of the ocean and the islands, uh, you know, on the way down. So, so you can get some pretty good, uh, you know, uh, footage there if you have a camera. And uh, it's in Visayas, which is the central region uh, of the Philippines. You have uh, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Okay, Luzon is the north. That's where Manila is. Visayas, where Cebu. Boracay is, and then Mindanao, where Davao, you know, Davao City is, and that's where uh, President Rodrigo Duterte is from, is Davao. Um, but anyway, everyone knows who Roberto, uh, Rodrigo Duterte is by now, uh, with the drug war and, you know, all the controversy and all of that. But anyway, we're not going to talk about politics, we're going to talk about Boracay, beautiful Boracay Island. Um, getting here is, uh, is tricky, I'll talk about that here in a moment. I just want to say that in 2012... Uh, it was awarded Best Island by Travel and Leisure Magazine, which is uh, a publication that I subscribe to regularly. I share on my travel blog, on my Facebook page, I always share articles from Travel and Leisure, TNL, and it was named in 2012 uh, the Best Island, okay, which is a big honor because that's a, that's a very credible travel publication. Uh, in 2016... Um, it was um, named by Condé Nast Traveler as one of the top 10 destinations to watch. Okay, White Beach that I'm on right now is uh, one of the one of the most popular parts of Barakai. There's a lot of uh, things you can do in Barakai. I'll talk about here in a moment. Uh, but we're at Station 1 right now. We actually booked our place at Station 3 because it was cheaper. And uh, next time we come, we're going to book a nicer place. It'll probably be Station 1 or Station 2. There's Station 1, Station 2, Station 3, and Station 4. And... Uh, you know, as far as things to do, you have horseback riding, scuba diving, snorkeling, windsurfing, kiteboarding, cliff diving, and my favorite, parasailing, which is I'm going to do for sure next time I come. I just have to do it. Uh, I've picked up a bit of a tan since I've been here. <laughs> no surprise. Uh, you've also got, you know, various hotels ranging from uh, budget hostels to five-star extravagant uh, hotel resorts. Okay, you've got nightclubs. You have a golf course that was designed uh, you know, by a famous uh, designer, and um, you know about getting here. When you when you fly into uh, Cataclan Airport, uh, it's a separate island than Boracay Island. So getting here is tricky. You got to fly into the airport, and then you got to take a, a taxi or uh, you know like a little three wheeler. Uh, you pay the guy 50 pesos. Don't pay 500. You know for the big bus, pay pay 50 pesos. That's cheaper, much cheaper, and it doesn't cost that much. And uh, to get to the ferry terminal. At the ferry terminal, you're going to have to go through three different windows. Window one, window two, window three, which I have videos of that that I'm going to share on my travel blog. You go through all three windows and you only pay like over a little over 100 uh, pesos. But it's just a pain in the butt, you know, to, to do that. You can get, I found out later after I did all that, my friend actually bought one sticker and paid for everything, okay? And she didn't have to go through all that. It paid for all the transportation to get from the airport to the ferry terminal. And then she didn't have to go through the windows. From the ferry terminal, you take, uh, depending on where you're going, okay, first you have to check in. You have to sign your name and your address and your phone number, all your information. You have to check in. And they've got guards, armed guards, and all that stuff because they don't want anybody to leave here unhappy. You understand? They don't want anybody to feel unsafe and unhappy because this is a cash cow for the Philippines. Okay? They bring in a lot of money uh, with this place. Believe me. And they make sure that people are safe and they have fun. Okay, so, uh, but but you don't have to worry about crime so much. I mean, like any other place that's beautiful like this, there's a lot of poverty. You're gonna have thieves. You're gonna have you know scams, hustles. Every five seconds, you got somebody coming up trying to sell you something. And eventually, after the first 50 people that come up to you, you just want to scream at them. But I don't do that. <laughs> it's tempting, but I don't do that. But getting okay. So from from Cataclan Airport, you have to. Uh, take a taxi for like 50 pesos, between 50 and 500 pesos, you take a taxi to get to the ferry terminal. You go through window one, two, and three, unless you have a sticker like my friend did. And then you got to check in, and then you go to, uh, you purchase a ferry ticket, and then the ferry ticket, depending on which station you're going to, 
you get you get on a different boat. You get on on that boat depending on where you're going, which station, and that takes you to your station. When you arrive at uh, Barakai Island, from there you have to find your station. You have to get to your station. So there's another taxi ride, okay? And then once you get to your station, then you got to walk and walk and walk and ask questions. If it's not a famous hotel, then you're going to have to navigate and ask people. Everybody speaks English. And there's no signs, so trying to find my hotel slash hostel was a headache. And then when I got there, I found out it wasn't what I paid for. It wasn't what I thought it was. So I had to book another place, which was close by, but it was very cheap. 1,500 pesos for an air-conditioned apartment with two beds. Um, and uh, that's only like 23, 22, 23 dollars, U.S. dollars. Okay, so, so Station 3 is good if you're a first-timer and you don't want to spend a lot of money and you're just here for a couple days, go to Station 3. Okay, but again, just do your own research. I highly recommend Wiki Travel because it's a free, uh, you know, travel website, and they don't try to sell you all the expensive tours and hotels and restaurants, you know, like they do uh, on uh, uh, websites like TripAdvisor. Okay, um, if you have a favorite travel blogger, uh, read what they have to say. Okay, about Barakai, because travel bloggers like Wiki Travel will tell you things that those touristy uh, websites and, and publications will not tell you. They'll tell you the real deal, okay? And they'll tell you how to save money and how to watch out from spending too much money and how, and, and, and to keep from getting, how to keep from getting scammed and everything. So uh, it's tricky getting here. It's kind of a hassle to get here um, from the airport, but it's not that bad, okay? And once you do it uh, the first time, it becomes easier the next time. So um, with that said, come check out Barakai. It's a beautiful place, central Philippines. Uh, it's like Hawaii. But much, 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 much cheaper. <laughs> so if you want to see Hawaii, uh, a Hawaii type of island, uh, without paying the Hawaii type of money, come to Barakai. Okay? And this isn't the only place in the Philippines that's nice. There's a lot of other places too, but this is probably the most famous in the Philippines. So here in Barakai, we're heading out tonight. I'll be back soon. The weather is in the upper 80s. Sunshine, people smiling, having a good time, swimming, parasailing, scuba diving, horseback riding. Uh, we just had lunch and we're going to explore more of the island before we leave tonight. Peace out.